hi gents hi ladies welcome back to my channel but if you are new here you're highly welcome my name is lillian i'm talking about mercy johnson or koji for the very last time on my channel at the beginning of it i talked about it because i live in ghana and the woman that was constantly on here on youtube is also from ghana and i am a nigerian and I am a mother, I felt like, okay, let's talk about it. So I didn't know it was going to interest a lot of people. So we have been on it for a whole one month. And yesterday I got a message from someone unverified source on Instagram. So the person said that Messi had agreed to a DNA test with the Cameroonian woman that they have agreed to settle behind closed doors so i felt like okay how true is this because like i said in this video this news this source is not verified and i hate to bring out fake news i hate to talk about things i don't know or things i'm not very sure of so i'm gonna say allegedly you know agreed to settle with the cameroonian woman i don't know how true this is i'm begging okay i do not know how accurate this information is but someone sure close sound like she is she knows the family she's close to the family that mercy had and her husband had made a deal with with the cameroonian woman that they settle behind closed doors so that is term and condition given to the woman and she accepted it. It is difficult for me to just wake up and believe my source. So I on my own took it upon myself to dig a bit deeper. By going back to the Nigerian lady, I think her name is Blessing on Facebook. So the lady that brought the Cameroonian woman story in the first place decided to visit her page on Facebook. And I saw a video where she said that, but from because i'm looking for something to back up with what have been sent to me the last video she made in this regard her last video she talked about francis duru francis duru not being happy with her that she put him out there he wanted it private so she put him out there so he wanted to withdraw he threatened he was no longer going to be part of the people trying to beg mercy to agreed to the dna testing i'm here call life for anything okay so i beg no gonna calm down that one on number two number three some people don't call me actually one or two persons don't call me because of this they're not gonna mention their name they say me cannot call their name yeah i'm not gonna mention their name so we are investigating this whole thing on the ground okay we are investigating this whole thing on the ground and by the special grace of god we will come out here to tell you like, the good news or whatsoever it is i will put them up here for my page because let me start this whole thing so me and uh mr francis francis do they even get issue now because of this matter yeah he know like as i put them up for my page i supposed to follow the whole thing on the ground but what thing i go do now so that was what she said from that i said okay the my source could be saying the truth you get it my source may be saying the truth because blessing in that video that's the lady that brought mama's story to life said that in her words she said mr duru is angry with me that i brought out the whole thing uh so i i shouldn't have put him out there so he's not impressed with that and i is threatening to withdraw i may be playing her video here a little bit but guys is it copyright I have built uh, i don't want it on my channel so if you want to see that video you can go on facebook and search for blessing and that's her username on facebook in that video she said that francis duru threatened to withdraw from begging mercy because she put him out there like that expose him make him vulnerable you know put him under some sort of you know it's not like it's not good and another reason i will believe my source is if you know francis duro very well you know that one of the very few scandal free actor in nigeria you hardly hear anything negative anything negativity around his name you you don't even know anything about him you hardly know a thing it's just recently that we started to know some things about him like his wife and his children him celebrating his wife on his instagram page which he hardly do so i totally get it if she said that the guy is angry that's francis duro is angry with her 
because she put him out there and because of that he's threatening that he wasn't going to beg mercy johnson again so i totally believe her and agree with her so looking at that video and then going back to my source i can easily say okay maybe there's 50 percent chances that they have decided to do out of social media settlement which is absolutely the best so in my previous video where i talked about the woman i can now see that social media may have helped her because i was really concerned that she may have been used by social media and abandoned without finding solution but if what my source had sent me plus the video that the lady made is anything to go by then social media didn't use and abandon her this is not me recommending it for your next call out if you want to call genevieve out or motola mm -hmm. in case there's another woman in coming from abidjan or togo to call or mercy johnson that she's a mother avoid social media go to break it say, okay go there back up your claim with evidence and the honorary president may take it up from there and help you go private because our celebrities uh, will do anything to maintain their privacy especially those that have kids so you get this and know this and no peace all right so i think with that the cameroonian woman may be you know be lucky if that is true i don't know i cannot guarantee you i cannot i'm not here guaranteeing you guys that this news is verified because the person that sent it to me i don't know that person and i don't know why the person sent it according to her she have watched my videos and that she sees how passionate i have been talking about it and she just want me to know so that i will know because she, she thinks i'm very concerned it's true i'm concerned but there is nothing i could do to help so but thank you for thinking i'm passionate for believing for noticing the passion in me talking about that so this brings us to officially the end of anything regarding mercy johnson on my channel for now the only mercy you may hear on my channel is definitely our own mercy except if mama refused to a dna test which is okay we know that we try but i know she will not refuse so when she comes and they get the dna test in turn we are going to talk about that otherwise i am officially going back home as i miss home so much if you do not know what i mean by going back home i mean i want to go back to my usual videos my travel content my vlogs about my life living in ghana sharing my beautiful experience here in ghana and a lot of other things traveling to nigeria traveling around and just being an amazing mom so that is what i'm going to continue doing plus a mercy that is coming i am going to go back to my usual content okay so i'm sorry but you don't have to unsubscribe okay of course for those of you that are here because of mercy she definitely once she comes i'll be back here on that but for now i am gone i'm like i'm done i have given my best i've done my best i'm not even a journalist eh, i'm not even a journalist but i've tried my best i think i feel good that I didn't just keep quiet i talked even though if my talking didn't do anything didn't add any didn't make any impact didn't make any difference at least i'll know that I have satisfied my conscience i have spoken and i'm glad i did we are not going to end this video without the lessons in it so this video may be a bit long bear with me because i want to explain things in detail because this is the last video about mercy johnson on my channel by the special grace of god the only mercy i'm going to talk about here is our own mercy when she comes so i am done with mercy johnson officially now for me uh, before we end it you know on these notes i want to advise every mother out there every young mother out there you're not just going to end the video without me telling you guys that if you find yourself in a situation like this like this woman the cameroonian woman and the Ghanaian woman 
now at their old age when they are supposed to be relaxing they're supposed to be going to the hospital for medical going to the hospital for their medical checkup going on holidays with their kids hanging out with their grandkids spending quality time with their kids in their kids house you know houses rather than you know this is the time for that and not the time for them to publicly you know come out on social media and be judged by strangers you get it so we all have to learn and avert that from happening to us you can use their story to help yourself by making sure that you try your best to make sure that that don't happen to you at all at all so now let me start like this for me if you ask me seriously if you ask me i'll tell you if you find yourself in that situation you should i mean their own situation it's not like you not being able to take care of your kids it's okay your husband should take since you guys are no longer together you give it to him to take also if you're on that table and also if you're on the table of the mama then and also if you're on the table of you wanting to start your own family because the kids or your child is an hindrance to you starting your life i mean if your child is an hindrance to your beautiful life wanting a future with another man or something you want to just basically move on with your life and your child is an obstacle to that before you tell me ah, what is that please a lot of things are happening i personally have seen and i have been you know seeing videos i have personally witnessed where a woman abandons her child to go get married because in this case it's not like she she just bluntly rejects that girl and like she don't want the baby the baby can go to the streets go to anywhere you want to go she wants to move on with her life after all your daddy moved on with his life and he has his own family so she too she want to do the same so there are a lot of young girls in our society today that are dealing with that okay so if it's strange to you maybe in your own country it's not happening it's happening a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of such is happening in my own country because being a single mother in a place like nigeria is a very bad thing it's a very horrific thing like people look down on you you are not respected you are looked down on you are <laughs> See, you're as good as a criminal if you're a single mother. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm not saying this. I'm not about to expect um, anyone not argue with me. Feel free to argue. Do so respectfully. But if it's not happening in your own tribe, other tribes are dealing with that. So in, because of that, a lot of women want to be respected. They want their own identity. They want a family. And they don't want hindrance they don't want anybody to know that they have kids so they will abandon their children to go remarry so if you're on that table too it's not too late join this gang i have something to tell you i have something to tell you that may be helpful to your future okay so and also if you are the one that cannot take care of your child and your husband or ex-boyfriend or whatever baby daddy whatever he is to you have decided to move on with his life and he does not want you in that life and then but he wants the child and you are willing to give the child to him because since he didn't marry you now he should take the child so that you can be free to go look for a husband please don't even give me face don't give me this attitude because it they happen okay people are doing it so in case you are on that table also this is listen to me now if you find yourself on the mama's table mama these two women because they have a lot their story is similar and if i'm them they should be friends okay after all this brouhaha mary johnson and the cameroonian woman should be friends because they have got a thing in common they are both looking for mercy johnson or Koche, the nollywood actress it's just like they were if they see her physically this one would drag this one would drag you get it so that makes them point one perfect point two they are both looking for a boy and a girl all right that is it and that makes them another point two check best friends and um point three they are both they have this um i don't know where the kids are story like 
it took and run away kind of you know point three check they should be friends for good i mean they should spend quality time and be asking themselves some few questions okay like this while i give my advice what i would do if i find myself in that shoe if you find yourself in the shoes of these two elderly women as a young person somebody run away i mean your husband or yes your husband your spouse will run away with your child don't up back to bed quickly to go make more babies don't 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 your option shouldn't be you returning to the bed to just go have it you know go do they do to have another child to replace those ones no you should think of how to be financially empowered think of how to empower yourself financially so that in future instead of coming helplessly in front of millions of people because you are helpless and truly see it's someone that has money that can you see the celebrity when you have money you know that you can reach out to any of them like it's very easy to get their phone number it's very easy to talk to them because them too they are human so if instead of coming here on social media to cry for help it will be a lot easier if you don't up back to bed to go replace these babies just go empower yourself instead go look for how to make money look for how to be financially free look for how to be very influential in your society look for how to be powerful build a brand for yourself make a name so that when that child hears that name they'll be like wow so oprah wifred is my mama oh Folan roshan alakeja ah mrs alakeja is my mother wow when they hear that they will not resist you mm? especially my country people they will not resist you even if you left them thousand years ago if you return with money and power eh social media will not hear it they will take you back so please young mothers listen if you have an abusive husband or abusive whatever you hear a child with an abusive man or children with an abusive man and he has denied you access to your kids what you should do is not to up back into bed to make more babies to replace those ones or that one is for you to go and be empowered trust me it is a lot easier to make and save money when you are all by yourself don't go and replace these babies because sometimes you want to replace them but you realize that in future your plans because you are replacing them now so that you have another one since the man have taken those ones so that you have someone that will look after you in old age sometimes life don't go like that especially when it concerns an abandoned child that one child that you abandon and you have been able to replace that child successfully even double even half like five extra if life wants to happen to you it's only that one that is financially independent the rest will try their best you see that they can't make it because there is something you are yet to attend to and life have been happening to people and it can happen so in order to avoid that at your old age when you are in 60 when you are in your 60 70 80s you should be relaxing with that child children that your i mean your grandkids you shouldn't be you coming out to try to you know gain trust and on how to penetrate into your daughter's into your daughter's life a lot of people are going through this we getting to hear about this about this messy case because the reason we get to hear about this messy johnson case is because she's a public figure a lot of low-key people are dealing with this both rich and poor but it's a lot easier for you as a mother who have to abandon that child for reason beyond your control or willingly for whatever reason you're doing it for to gain access to that child when you are financially good okay when you are financially okay it is a lot easier these ones it won't be there you know the best 
um, place they hang out you know how to approach them nicely with the best hair with the best makeup the best outfits the best party you know how to organize a party even an award show you can organize an award show that will bring mercy over there and you will stylishly tell her i'm your mother at first she's gonna blush she's gonna laugh wow how and then later when you go deeper and deeper and you tell her shh I don't want anybody to hear this okay darling but let's just do a dna test if he doesn't match you have nothing to lose and if he matches you will know the truth that's it okay because she have access to mercy what are you saying so if you want to if you find yourself on that table don't choose to go replace the kids okay just choose to work hard empower yourself be financially buoyant be independent be strong be everything that you can be. Be a revenge so that when you're coming back, you revenge on your spouse who sees those children from you in the first place. Okay? Revenge methods. Now they walk past. Revenge. Now they walk past. Don't just go back to say, okay, I want to move on with my life. You won't move on for too long. You'll be back to square one, to looking for this child to reunite with. I am telling you, I am telling you this out of experience for free. I know a lot of people that have dealt with this. I just don't do that on my channel because these are private people with their private lives, right? So I know a lot of people that have deal, deal with this. So if this happens to you, just go and make money instead of making babies to get it. Make money. It's a lot easier to make money without children. My people, you ask me, me like this, sometimes I feel like I'm depressed, but I know I'm not. It's just the financial, financial difficulty. You know, you spend, I'll see, if I don't have any kids in my life like if i'm all by myself which i don't want to please i don't want to be all by myself in jesus name but i'm saying that if i'm all by myself with no kids ah my dear i know how much i would have saved hmm? i would have been able to you know save some things all this advice that some people will give me out of the goodness of their heart buy this build that start this open this won't be there because i would have been doing all these things because they believe I have the money. But people forget that children are not eating sand. They eat food. And food, low-key, is the simplest and most... Un I mean, is that thing that people don't take seriously yet. Is that thing that keeps a lot of people poor. It keeps you stagnant. Because, of course, I don't have a farm. If I have a farm, it means I have to make my money from that farm. Right? And I may not make a lot of it. Okay, so I depend solely on the little money I'm making to feed these children, to clothe them, to pay their school fees, especially to pay their school fees, especially. You don't want to know how much I'm paying for my kids' school fees every time. Every single time, you don't want to know how much I single-handedly pay for my kids' education. I'm not here to explain. For those who tell me, hey, choose a government school now, I have explained millions of times, but you know, I don't have to explain to anyone. Just, I'm just saying so that people will know it is not as simple as it is to save money with children than when, it is, when you are not with kids. So when they seize your kids from you and you know where they are, hmm, just go on ahead and build your life build yourself invest in yourself be financially independent so that when you walk into that place you won't need anybody to help you talk to your child no matter how well placed in the society that child is you yourself can walk up to that child to say i am your mother you classically you whisper it to the child here i am your mother Yes, now, nah. and the child will blush at first. What? And then later, you explain, and you will just tell them, darling, let's go for a DNA test. Let's go hang out. You don't have to tell your husband about this. She will take you seriously. And this is a DNA test you are not asking her to fund. Is the one you are funding to get it. Hmm? To get it. If you like, don't take advice from the president of Baby Mamas Associate. If anybody, any of 
my babies, you know, I find myself, it can't happen to me though, because it's too late. Say one unfortunate person would just say my baby father come to take my baby from me. I don't understand like Biba will like how which kind I want to do and which court be that is he winning me at because me I will I will, you see that court I go and dress. <laughs> God forbid I go and dress myself. I go and dress because if you want to be in your child's life, you don't need to seize that child from me because I have not denied you access to the child. So you see, so if you want to be in the child's life, we do it together. I'm not asking you to come be in a relationship with me. No, I don't want that. But I mean, like, you try your best to do your own part. Do it right. And I will not complain. So we don't have to drag ourselves to anywhere. But in a case where you watch me do everything, because there's a woman in your life that have refused you access, have refused you because whatever she's using to knock you, so... <laughs> I know there are elderly people here, so let me not go there. So, please, whatever the lady is using to hold you is drunking you, and you just abandon your child, and later you come. I want to make trouble with me. Does it work? It doesn't. So, if you find yourself in this situation, that is what you must do, okay? Do that and thank me in your 80s. So, you don't have to go through drama. So I want to believe that at this point, this is settled, all right? Mercy is, I don't know, please. Um, this is not coming from my heart. If she have been reunited with the lady, the Cameroonian woman or not. And if she have been reunited with the Cameroonian woman, it means that what about the Ghanaian mama? Because the Ghanaian mama said she never did give up. That Mercy is her picking. So, you know, see, according to all the videos they are, they are making, they say, um, she, because they are tagging me in all the video that channel makes, they tag Lily Ogini. I have evidence, so in case I have to show you to uh, before someone come and tell me, hey, leave them. I'm not against them, but I'm letting you know that I'm aware because they tag me so that I can see. They tag me probably so that they can get the views or so that I can see or something. And I'm seeing, they are saying that is Messi Johnson, gong, 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 they are looking for. They are not looking for any other mercy. So now, if true, my source is right, that mercy have agreed to settle with the Cameroonian woman. So what about the Ghanaian woman? Justice for her. Hey, justice, justice for mama. As I end my video. So please, young mothers, don't let anybody try you, okay? Let us be that baddest mom. Like, that baddest mom. I'm not saying you should go into drug dealing to make money, but it's a lot easier for you. As a young woman, we know kids to save money than when you have one. My dear, for me right now, I can tell you for free that it's not a joke. Okay? But I'm not complaining because I bless the name of God who have always tried one way or the other to put something in my hand to be able to survive with my kids. So I'm not complaining. But I'm saying that it's a lot easier to save money with no kids than when you have me i have three you in my case i have three you plus myself making four uh -huh, together so you know what that means and they are all in school so wisely wisely don't let anybody make you cry in future okay so this is all i have to say as i officially draw the curtain and end it with mercy johnson as i say goodbye and um to those of you that came here for that please don't go away okay mercy will come to ghana mean our own mercy if mama is willing to do a dna test when she comes they'll get it done then when mercy comes and mama is not willing to do it it's okay we know that we tried so thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one entirely different topic mind you bye